something to you called the builder that kind of touched me. Because when you start looking at giving your best at all times, that's not easy. But when you are committing yourself to doing something, those are the standards that you set for yourself because that's who you are. If you're working on a job where you're miserable, they're not paying you what you're worth. You don't like the work, you don't like the people, and you're dissatisfied. If you have decided to continue to take a paycheck, you owe it to yourself to give it your best effort. If you get in the habit of being mediocre or doing just enough to get by, you're not hurting anybody but you. You're cheating you. The builder. There was a man who was an efficient builder. He had worked for years in a large company and had reached the age of retirement. His employer asked him to build one more house. It was to be his last commission. The builder took the job. But his heart was not involved. He used inferior materials. Timber was poor. And he failed to see the many things that should have been clear to him had he shown even his normal interest in his work. When the house was eventually finished, his employer came to him and said, The house is yours. Here's the key. It's a present from me. The builder immediately regretted that he had not used the best materials and engaged the most capable workers. If only he had known that the house was for him. Whoa. If he had made a commitment with his life, with his craft, that I'm going to give my best at all times, even if this is my last job, I'm going to give it my best shot because that expresses who I am, he would have been more appreciative of that gift. Would you imagine that? I think that makes a very good point. The next thing is, live each day with integrity. Don't try and get over in life. Don't try and cheat. See, a lot of people like to try and cheat. I was with a friend of mine, and we were, went into a service station to get some gas. They gave me back too much change. I discovered it down the road, and I was turning around going back. I said, you're a fool. Hey, man, what when they don't give people enough change? You think they flag the people down? I said, I'm not responsible for them. I'm responsible for me. I went back and I told the guy, excuse me, sir, you gave me a $20 bill too much. I gave it to the guy. The guy just took it and walked away. He didn't say thank you. The guy in the car laughed and said, I told you, you fool. <laughs> I'd have kept that. I said, I'm not responsible for his attitude. I don't care. Knowing that he would not say thank you, I would still give it back to him. Because my image of myself says, hey, you don't take something that doesn't belong to you. That's the way my mother raised me. Don't try and cheat. Say, well, you know, this little bit won't count. Everything counts.